This is the Beta FPV Cetus X, and we're going to talk about how to connect it to Betaflight and how to flash your EORS firmware to 3.0 or above. As we can see, this flight control does not come in with any USB port built in. So what we have to do is to use our little adapter, and this came with the package. So you're going to find this little black cable, and we're going to plug it in to the adapter. And now this is USB-C ready. Okay, let's head to our computer for the next step. Okay, so we're going to plug in a USB-C cable into this uh, adapter. And you should hear a connection sound like that. All right, let's go to our computer screen. Okay, so now we have connected our drone to our PC, and we're just going to hit connect to connect to Betaflight. And now you can see this little image in the middle. This is your image of your drone right now, and for your gyro input, so you can see that it, when you flip your quad physically, it's going to move at the same time. And okay, now let's go to the next tab. We're going to go to the receiver. This is this tab is for you to know what your control, uh, what your drone is uh, listening to your controller. So for instance, if we move our throttle right here, you're going to see that the throttle bar is moving up and down and same as pitch and roll and yaw. And another thing is we have to know which is our aux 1, aux 2, aux 3, and you can just flip the switch to find out. So we, right now, if we're flipping this one, we know this one is aux 1. And we flip this one and oh, so this one is actually aux 2 and aux 3 right here, aux 4 right here. All right, and now we're just going to go to the settings so to let the drone know what we want the switches to do for. So let's go to modes, and you, now you can see that we have set our arm as aux one. So arm aux one is this one, and if you flip it up, you can see that it, it's going to the yellow circle, and which means this your arm is activated. Your drone will activate it based on this, and if you flip it down, it's going to disarm. And let's go to our aux two. Aux two is this one. So aux two, you're going to see that right now it's default at angle mode. If you flip it up, we're going to go to horizon mode, and if you flip up again, it will go to air mode. So this is just generally how you can set this up. If you don't like what you're seeing, you can also just move the cursor bars around. So. If you just don't like it, you can just do it like this to change it. And that's I think that's about how you should know as a basic of how to set up your beta, uh, beta flight so your controller knows what you're doing. And after you're done, make sure you hit save or it's going to be gone. All right, so let's go to how to flash our ELR setup portion. Okay, so before we begin the process, I would like to give you some backgrounds of why we're doing what we're doing. As you know, this quad has a SPI-based ELRS receiver which means that the ELRS receiver is built into the flight control chip. And with that, you will no longer be able to flash your ELRS firmware via the ELRS configurator, but you will have to do it via the beta flight. But luckily, the beta flight, a uh, new version of beta flight does support ELRS 3.0 or above. So let's head back to the computer and we'll flash our beta flight step by step. Okay, so before we flash our firmware, there's one thing we have to do, which we have to back up our initial setting. Otherwise, after we flash the firmware, all the settings are going to be gone. The setting means like these parts that uh, the settings are going to be gone. So we're going to go to presets and you're going to come to save backups. And we can just save your backup in whatever place you like. I just like to put in download and just load it directly. All right, we can start begin our flashing uh, process. Okay, so to enter the DFU mode, you have to press the little yellow button right here. We're going to just press and hold it. Uh, it's hard, hard to do it. Hold it. And we're going to plug in a USB cable. All right, so back to our beta flight uh, configurator. This time, we're just going to go to hit updates, and it should bring you to the firmware flasher. With the firmware flasher, there are two things we have to select up here, which is the correct flight controller board. You should be it should be automatically detected, so which you should be okay. But if it's not, you can try to hit auto detect or just find the right one. So if you fly the beta F, if you fly the beta at PVC this X, this should be your flight controlling board. And we're going to flash the firmware to the most updated version, uh, the 4.40 version of Beta Flight. 
and after this we're going to come here and load firmware okay by the way so if you're in dfl D dfu mode which is the bootloader mode this icon should be lighted in yellow otherwise it's going to be like this all right so we're going to load firmware online and we're just going to hit flash firmware and we are going to wait until it's done All right, so right now our quad should be flashed to beta flight 4.40 version and our ELRS should be 3.0 above. Okay, so now let's go to the next step. I will be showing you how to reload your original setting back to your flight controller. Okay, so after the flashing is done, when you hit connect, this is going to pop out. So it's important that we're going to say apply custom defaults. All right, so we can see connect. And right now, let's see if we are able to get everything back as default. So you can see everything is gone. So let's go back to the preset and we're going to load back up and just put open. Warning, configuring has should be implied with CLI Evro. Just save anyway. We'll see if it works. Here we go. Okay, so everything is back to the normal thing. So perfect. All right, so I guess this is a success. Let's link up with our uh, radio to see if we actually did it. Since our quad has been flashed to beta flight uh, 4.40 and the EOLRS has been flashed also to 3.0 above, we're going to connect to our Radio Master TX12 with the EOLRX module that has a 3.0 above version of EOLRS. We're going to try to see how to do it. We're going to go back to beta flight. And we are just going to go to the receiver tab. So make sure this is set as SPIRX. So you're going to have an express LRS here. And make sure your binding phase binding phrase is set same to your uh, flight, uh, same to your uh, radio. And once you're done, make sure you hit save and reboot. It should be save and reboot right here because I already did it. And you can also kick, uh, click the button say bind receiver. Telemetry lost. And it should it should automatically bind with the your quad directly. So let's try to bind it. RF signal critical. Okay, Telemetry so recovered. okay, so you see we already got it. All right, so I guess this is a success. And if we move the throttle or move something around, you can see that the quad is taking our orders here. So okay, perfect. So I guess it's a success. I guess this wraps us up the small tutorial today, and I hope you found something useful. If you feel like it, please help me subscribe to my channel. Your support means a lot to me. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.